Now on 12, a man is dead after a shooting in Crown Heights. This morning, community members are reacting as police search for a killer. And we're following breaking news on the Gowanus Expressway. Several vehicles involved in a crash shutting down westbound lanes. And meteorologist Mike Favetta has your hyperlocal forecast coming up on the twos. As local as local news gets. News 12, Brooklyn. Good morning and thank you for waking up with us on this Thursday, January 7th. I'm Kelsey Miner. We'll bring you our top stories in a moment. But first, here's News 12 Brooklyn reporter Natasha Geigel with traffic. We'll tell you more about that coming up. All right, Mike, thank you so much. We want to go back to that breaking news on the Gowanus Expressway. This view from Chopper 12. Three people are injured, we're told. One person in serious condition after a crash involving a flatbed truck. This happening on the westbound side at 65th Street. It looks like at least four vehicles were involved. One of the cars completely smashed between the truck and another car. We do have a crew on the way and we will bring you updates throughout the morning. We want to go back to that breaking news on the Gowanus Expressway. Three people are injured, one person in serious condition after a crash involving several vehicles. News 12 Brooklyn reporter Katie Lusso is along the Gowanus with a look at how it's affecting traffic. And Katie, this has to be slowing things down. A man has been arrested in the slashing of a Brooklyn woman in Chelsea. Police arrested 41 year old Kari Bazemore. He's now charged with felony assault and criminal possession of a deadly weapon. Police say he walked up to the woman yesterday morning on 23rd Street and cut her in the face. A Bronx father charged with the murder of his own daughter and unborn grandchild expected to be arraigned in court today. You murder her! That was your own daughter! William Carruth faces both second degree murder and manslaughter charges. We're told he lived in his daughter's basement apartment, which is where cops found her body yesterday under plywood in a closet. But he's going to get his day in court. And as far as I'm concerned, the death penalty will be too good for him. Andrea Carruth went missing on Sunday morning when cops found her body. They say she had been strangled and beaten, leading to the charges against her father. I'm Kelsey Miner. You're watching News 12 Brooklyn on a Thursday morning and coming up. Volunteers from the site of Borough Park explosion honored by the Office of Emergency Management. The jackpot keeps getting bigger after another winner less drawing. The next Powerball will be an estimated $675 million. If it reaches that number, it will be the biggest jackpot in U.S. history. The next drawing is on Saturday. No one has matched all six numbers since November 7th. So we want to know if you won a large jackpot, how would you take your winnings? Lump sum, installments, or do you not play? Answer our question of the day at news12.com or channel 612 that's on Optimum TV. It may not have been half a million bucks, but a New Jersey woman is now a millionaire thanks to pennies. The 50 year old who did not want to be identified hit a $3 million jackpot playing a penny machine at the Trump Taj Mahal Casino in Atlantic City on Saturday. According to officials, she hit it big after playing one machine for just five minutes. Records show the win is the largest jackpot awarded in Atlantic City in more than three years. High school basketball season is in full swing. The best performances of the last week of 2015 and the start of the new year now. News 12 Brooklyn's Dan Serafin has our plays of the week. I'm Kelsey Miner and you're watching News 12 Brooklyn. More hypo local headlines, weather, traffic on the way. Stick with us. When you see news happen or have an interesting story, call us at 718-861-6818. Email us at news12bkln at news12.com. Message us on Facebook or Twitter. News 12 Brooklyn has local, has local news.